Rural Heritage on RFD TV is brought to you by Rural Heritage Magazine, a bi monthly magazine featuring articles about farming and logging with draft animal power, small scale diversified family farming and homesteading, and other aspects of our rich rural heritage. Rural Heritage Magazine, borrowing from yesterday to do the work of today. For subscription information, please call 319 362 3027 or order online at www.ruralheritage.com. This, this old iron show started with our member of our Masonic Lodge. His name's Tom Nichols, he's a great guy. And he started this, he, he has a lot of steam engines and different things, so he had a show here and called it Old Iron Show. I can't, I can't really remember what year it was, probably 10 years ago or maybe a little more. And he he had it for a couple of years, and he got busy and and different things, and then they didn't have it for a year, I think. And anyway, our, our lodge, me and some other members of the lodge, said, well, why don't we do try to get that going? So we did, and every year it seems like it gets And then Tony come in with the horses and his horse people. So between the two, between the old tractors collector tractors, the thrashing machine, the, the horse drawn equipment has become quite an event. And it gives, it gives it, why we like to do it is it's, it's a fundraiser for our fairgrounds here or different events in our little town, the proceeds. Everything's free, but our lodge has a kitchen okay. in, in, in one of the buildings here. And so okay. we serve breakfast and lunch okay. and the proceeds from that. And, and thankfully a lot of the stuff we get some of it anyway is donation so then we turn around and give that turn that into somewhat of a profit then it gives people a chance to drag their stuff out of the barn and, cl and play with it they, they, people just like to do that and it's really cool to see how many young people are interested in it and they they come and they, we, we try to find things for them to do and by guys they, they uh, are taking a, quite an interest some of them they start out with little hands-on shellers and then it seems like the next year them little kids grow up a little bit and they're starting hitting miss engines and and uh, and I see the Tony has that their little guys are running the horses um, and it's, it, it's, I think that's how the passion starts I suppose Tony was telling me that there's been a little bit of a, a turnover in the last year or so that you lost a couple of senior members this last spring we certainly did it probably uh, well, my dad and, and and a couple of other older guys, they all they've all just lost, you know, they're just gone. So, and it's not the same. But I guess they taught us how it maybe should be done. And we just kind of keep doing it. Yep. You lost your dad this spring. Yeah, I lost him this spring. Okay, and so are you kind of taking over his role then? He well, I kind of am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. He had the sawmill and and. So I at least get it drugged down here. I don't really have time to actually run it, but the guys are they'll they'll, they'll get her going. You kind of are kind of in charge of the overall event. Well, and yes, if anybody, I, is, you, you if anybody has questions or stuff, I, I mean I try to get everything lined up and organized and and take phone calls and ask answer questions or so I yeah I guess so. Everybody get along pretty good? Everybody gets along great. We just have a ball here. A lot of volunteer help? A lot of volunteer People help. People pitch in where they yep. need it. There, there's, there's, some, there's a family from the Fairfield area comes over here. I don't know how many loads of stuff they bring in and their own equipment to help clean up and, and do whatever needs to be done. You bet. It's the last full weekend in September. Okay. Last Three. Saturday and Sunday. And then we, we, then we started doing it on Friday also and actually try to start setting up on Thursday. But then Friday we tune things up a little bit, so hopefully Saturday everything's working. And this is the Wapello County Fairgrounds? Wapello, yep. Wapello, okay. Yep, Wapello County Fairgrounds. In Eldon, Iowa. Yes. Home of the Gothic House. Home of the Gothic House. Okay, all right. Which, if somebody wanted to come, that would be one other attraction. That they're, they they're absolutely, and, that, and that's a very cool place. And also there's a, a really nice restored railroad museum uptown. I saw that when I came to yeah. yeah, and there's a lot of heritage in that too. We've been publishing the Draft Horse Wall Calendar for over 40 years. 
Our customers have come to expect beautiful and interesting photographs of draft horses printed on high quality paper, wire bound so they lay flat on the wall. Large date squares make it easy to jot down appointments or events, and every grid page includes a bonus photo. We've included photos of all the major American draft horse breeds working in the woods and farm fields, as well as performing for appreciative crowds. They cost just $17.95 each with free shipping, or get two for just $32. You can get your calendar by calling 1-877-647-647. 2452 or visiting our website at www.ruralheritage.com. That's 1 877 647 2452 or www.ruralheritage.com. I was approached one day and they, by some of the older gentlemen, guys that were running the old iron show, and they said, Could you bring a wagon down and just haul some people around? And I said, sure, I'd be glad to. And then that's how it started. And then we just started uh, bringing in more equipment and we got some donations of horse-drawn equipment and uh, from Jerry Weibel from over in Illinois. Um, and it just kind of kept growing from there. But I think, uh, I think we we're gonna have 33 head here of horses and mules, yep. Right here, we're standing beside a Dane Haystacker that was donated to us from the McClintock family from down in Missouri. And um, so it's an overshot haystacker. So we will be uh, unrolling a bale of hay with a horse drawn bale unroller to create a hay field. And then we have a horse drawn tether that we will fluff the hay up with. And then we will be using a horse. Uh, buck rake or sweep rake depending on where you're at and what they're called with horse on each side and It will be using it to load this hay stacker and then we'll have a team of horses on the rope and pulley to, That'll operate the stacker and stack the hay for us. So that's one thing um, We're also doing uh, Some walking plow. We got some guys around here that we're kind of teaching and keeping it keeping it running and uh, we, we, uh, we got sulky plows, we got a corn binder that we bind corn with, and then we gather the corn on the wagons and we haul it into over to the tractors and they run it through the corn shellers and shell the corn and, and, or, or a silage blower also. Um, and then we also have a road grader that runs around the uh, a fairgrounds and and kind of smooth up the roads. And all of our guys here are very respectful of the horses and they they um, they try to not spook the horses and just be kind about it. Yep. And yeah, it's a good group of people to be ha hanging around with. But yeah, we had rain yesterday and it was foggy this morning and and uh, so things are kind of slow getting started because we had to let everything dry off from the rain yesterday. Yeah, but I, I look for more people to show up as the day goes on. Well, we just are glad to, for anybody that wants to show up and bring their horses next year if they want to, or tractors or old cars, but we're just, we're open for people to come and well, everybody's welcome here. And it's, we're just here to have fun and a good time.
If you enjoy seeing how our ancestors lived during America's rule yesterday, you're going to love looking at these books. Volume 1 is fieldwork showing horses and vintage tractors preparing seed beds, planting, cultivating, and harvesting the crop. Volume 2 shows the work being done in the barn and farmyard, feeding and watering the livestock, getting the crop into the barn, milking the cows, shearing the sheep, and collecting the eggs. In Volume 3, we go inside the home to see the family in the kitchen canning vegetables, in the parlor listening to the radio, and in the dining room for family supper. We also head into town to shop at the general store or visit on the town square on Saturday night. Each book has over 140 large format pages. They sell for $24.95 each or you can buy two for $44.95 or all three for $54.95 plus shipping. Call 1-877-647-2452 to order. That's 1-877-647-2452. You gonna put the halflingers on this or the perchings? No, the halflingers. Are okay. You just gotta get them. Get them on hook. There you go, bitch. Important to get that in the middle, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so it un unrolls evenly. Yep. You feed cattle with this? Yeah. Yep. They follow along behind you. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, they follow, come right. They to know it. that you're. They know what's going on. They know what's going on. And yeah, I mean, we can take a team of horses, and as long as we got net wrap on, we can take a bale through the field. This isn't quite heavy enough on the front end to, to lift it. To lift it. If but you can, can roll it. Yeah, we can unroll it. So we get it over set to begin with, then we can we can take it with us but it's that midpoint in there of getting it raised up to carry right. it where your weight's balanced right but, right right yep but yeah but no we do do use it to feed cattle with during the winter time i'm gonna go unhitch my half wingers from that wagon and bring them over here and great
Oh, you're alright. Yeah.
Cuts like butter. Yeah. Got a little moisture this week. This program is available for purchase. To order your copy, please call 319-362-3027 or visit www.ruralheritage.com. Rural Heritage is a bi-monthly magazine dedicated to draft animal farming and logging as well as other aspects of our rich rural heritage. It is published by Mishka Press, which also offers a complete line of back-to-the-land books, DVDs, and calendars. Call or write for a catalog or subscription information. Or visit our website at www.ruralheritage.com.